ओम ज्ञानतिमरांधस्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील ये नस्मगुरव नम श्री श्री सीतामलक्ष्मण हनुमा जय तो श्री वाल्मीकी महामुनी की जय वेलकम बैक फॉर another episode of reflections from ramayana during kartika today is the disappearance day of our founder acharya his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami shrila prabhupad and shrila prabhupad taught the world what krishna bhakti means and how to engage oneself in krishna bhakti So for today we are going to pick from Ramayana Yuddha Kanda chapter 17 verse number 11 This is the episode where Vibhishana has left Ravana and has just arrived to the place where Sri Ramachandra and Lakshmana are seated and around them are Sugriva Hanuman, Jambavan, Angada, and other important monkey leaders, trying to discuss how they can go to Lanka from here on. And uh, Vibhishana, who has just left Ravana, arrives there with four of his attendants. He has not stepped on the ground yet. He is still situated in the sky, and looking up at. Vibhishana and his followers, Sugriva, uh, becomes perturbed. He feels that this this great person who's there, uh, who's great in the sense very fearsome to look at, has arrived to attack them, and calls all of the other monkeys to pick up weapons, and they pick up trees. and large boulders waiting to attack vibhishana and his followers at that time this verse is what vibhishana says this is verse number 11 sa uvacha mahapragya swarena mahata mahan sugrivam tamscha sampreksha khasta eva vibhishana the translation is looking upon sugriva and those monkeys sugrivam tam scha sampreksha the great and highly intelligent vibhishana mahan and mahapragya uh, while being situated still in the sky kha stha kha means the sky kha stha uh, vibhishana spoke uh, sampreksha he he spoke uh, in a very loud voice mahata swarena that's all the verse says and then there's a list of things that vibhishana speaks but but for today we'd only pick on this verse because there are some very very wonderful hidden uh, jewels that are relevant for today's occasion although vibhishana says that the terrible ravana my older brother has abducted sita devi and has kept her imprisoned in lanka despite my multiple appeals to release her i tried my best to advise him though being his younger brother but uh, to no avail i was not successful those are some things he says but there is another important verse later but we'll look at verse number 11 right now again sa uvacha mahapragya swarena mahata mahan sugrivam tamscha sampreksha khasta eva vibhishana some reflections for today is that vibhishana first of all spoke in a very loud voice mahata swarena and the voice loudly he says that i'm here to take shelter of shri ramachandra so this idea of sharanagati which is what vibhishana is doing right now must be proclaimed 
it is not something that is to be done hush uh, hush hush or in a in a non ceremonious way it must be done ceremoniously and therefore vibhishana is speaking very loudly because it's a very very glorious event in one's life and this must be done boldly therefore he spoke loudly then we see that valmiki is referring to vibhishana as mahan great up until this point vibhishana has already been spoken as dharmika someone who's very righteous and religious but the word mahan is used only in this context right now because he has come to the point of taking refuge of shri ramachandra and lakshmana so therefore he is mahan so anybody doesn't matter where they are from vibhishana is from a family of rakshasas but if he comes to the point of taking shelter of shri ramachandra and lakshmana he is mahan this is the sign of greatness next he calls him a mahapragya the greatly wise one so all of one's intelligence buddhi must culminate into the wisdom pragya that one should take shelter of the supreme lord and his consort otherwise one may have a lot of intelligence by gathering knowledge worldly knowledge even but absolutely no wisdom meaning that that intelligent if it does not mature into wisdom to tell a person that when you see shri ramachandra and his consort sita devi or radha and krishna or lakshmi and narayana one must take shelter at their lotus feet and third and most important one is it's very interesting that valmiki says that vibhishana spoke loudly to sugriva and the other monkeys when ramachandra and lakshmana are sitting right there he did not speak to ramachandra and lakshmana instead he spoke to sugriva and this is the secret that sharanagati is more effective when one approaches a devotee not the supreme lord directly uh, although ramachandra could hear what he was speaking but he is addressing sugriva why because whatever the devotee does or says the supreme lord feels obliged to fulfill therefore in bhagavad gita krishna says to arjuna kaunteya pratijanihi name bhakta pranashati but you speak it boldly kaunteya pratijani go speak it declare it to the world and he is asking arjuna to declare because when someone hears what arjuna says the lord is obliged to fulfill it so because the lord will always always honor the words of his devotee so today being shila prabhupada's disappearance day it beho- it behooves us to even more strongly and humbly approach shila prabhupada with an appeal to recommend us to the divine couple to accept us in their service thank you and i hope each of us has the opportunity to remember the great contributions and the grace shila prabhupada has poured upon all of us who have never even met him but he has given to us in his books in his lectures in his personal example etc that we remember him and we seek his shelter so he may recommend us to the divine couple thank you hari krishna